happy Monday, everyone. Welcome, Tuesday. Welcome. I know. <laughs> I said that Monday. for Susan. It confuses her brain. It's our Monday. It's Tuesday, Tuesday Susan. To everyone. We want to be here on Monday. Actually, we were here on Monday working on the Have a Ball Fall Crawl. If you guys have not signed up, it's going to be amazing. For those who have signed up, you are going to want to listen to our presentation because we are going to give you a coupon code for $10 off a purchase of $50 or more. So it's almost like you're getting it for free. So exciting. Good morning, Lisa. We're going to be in class soon. Starting out with a kitty cat. Meow, meow. meow. <laughs> uh, it was a great weekend. How did everyone's weekend go? Mine was um, busy. That's what I'm going to say. Mine too. I feel like I didn't have any downtime this weekend. I'm just going to say I'm so grateful. I'm sorry, Susan and... <laughs> Anna and Karen, I'm so grateful I'm going on vacation on Sunday. I need it. It has been nonstop. I don't know, weeks. Weeks nonstop. Life likes to do that. Yeah, it is. Uh, this body needs a vacation. Yes, I'm going to show off my finished sweater. And I'll even turn it around for everyone who wants to see uh, the front on the back. I'm in love with this sweater, and it's finished. High five, Anna. Anna finished it up for me. She did this, blocked it, woven the ends. It is a team effort at Natique for just about everything. <laughs> um, so we've got lots of fun things to show you today. We're showcasing a new yarn. Karen whipped out a sample out of it, and it is so beautiful, so crazy soft. Uh, we all have fun things that we're wearing. Have you shown this one before that you're wearing? Yes, it's been a while and I only got to wear it once before it was too warm to oh, wear it. Oh, it's very pretty on you. Because it's a little humid right now, it's still a little too warm to wear it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think that through, that it was going to be humid today. It'll be okay in the store, though. I mean, we'll keep it at 72, 74. I don't know, I feel like the thermostat, because we just replaced it, mm -hmm. actually works better, and so it's cooler at a higher temperature. I'm thinking that that wire that he pulled mm -hmm. was already a little bit loose, and so it was probably not making a clear contact all the time, and so we weren't getting a fully functional it's AC. Excited to see what the bill is. Instead of $250, right? maybe it's only 200 I was rooting for 150 yeah. Thank you, Iris. I will, let me, because Iris is on, let me come out and I'll show you guys my slipped September. Here's the back of it. So I did choose to do a back and a front. I want to knit it again. Hold on, I'm going to zoom in on the beautifulness. And the colors we used, I used seven Natique yarns in two full skeins of merino cloud easily could do a merino cloud gradient and 292 two percent i did order a lot of this so if someone's interested in doing it you can do a close-up of the front so beautiful so some things that i changed on it i did not do the band on the bottom and we did a little bit of a different detail it so almost that makes it, it doesn't roll it almost makes it look like an I-cord edging. It does. It's so pretty. Look at how gorgeous it is. I'm in love with this. Great pattern, Iris. This was fun. And we just did a little sleeve cap. I had plenty to do short, long sleeves. It's just, it's too warm here in California. But I love it. I love the color. So flattering the way it comes in. I can't wait for the second class today. Or Wednesday, so we'll be talking about that's the adding the link that you need to. So I love it. Thank you, Kathy. I think it's flattering too. I do have a little um, compression tank top because I always do that with my sweaters. I feel and I don't have to have. Hold on, let me. It gets a down. cami. It's just a cami, but you don't actually have to show it. Okay, so there's where you can't see it. 
Now let me swirl it around because Melanie wants to see, my thought is you do two back, two fronts. So let me turn it around. We're gonna pan to these handy dandy um, knits that fit top. kits while she does a switcheroo. If you're knitting the sweater and you don't have one of these, you're going to need them. It's very handy for putting the sides of a, your top on hold while you Honestly, do the other half. This top's reversible. It's totally reversible. Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to show everyone. Okay, so here we go. I turned it around because you could wear the back on the front. Or if you wanted two back, two fronts, look how pretty that is. Thank you. So you definitely could do, if you like, really like knitting the front, you could do two of those. And it's not too deep that your bra shows. I mean, I even like the front like this. Yeah, like a little um, boat neck, is that yeah. what it's called? Mm -hmm. And it's not, I'm a little claustrophobic but it's deep enough that it's not too bad. Yeah, yours sits a little lower than mine. Mine was like, it's touching me. Yeah, <laughs> you could probably stretch it a little bit. Yeah, I could but block it different if I wanted to wear it that's both what ways. Because like. that shalusal blocks out. Yeah, let me <laughs> swirl around. Yes, Kathy, you do need one of those knits that fit kits. Everybody does. It is a game changer for stitch holders. So much more efficient. All right, so everyone keeps asking what's the color that I did. I did full skeins. So this is Natique, under our Natique exclusives. This is the Merino Cloud 7 Natique colorway. And then the contrast color is under the regular Merino Cloud. This is 292, 2%, which is a dark olive green. Bev. I know a lot of people who do that. They wear like slim, you know, like the under, like, under armor. Like an under armor shirt? Yeah, underneath it. People wear it's cold. I mean, we could do that for a week maybe. But we will do photography on this today because my hair is done. I know. We said that to the list. So we can post it, Iris. But I can't wait to see what everyone's doing. I'm, I love it. I actually really like I could knit two backs too. That'd be easy knitting um, and do something like that. I'm like, hmm, what do we have? Because if you did two backs, I could do that one, the Merino Cloud gradient kit and two skeins of Merino Cloud. I would easily knit this again. That's how much I loved knitting it. I mean, obviously it involves some beet pink or something. See, it involves the beet pink. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I like this one, and I like this one. See, there's her pink. Or the springtime in Paris, which is a little bit more raspberry. And I could do it with the darker gray, the charcoal. The 264, I think. Maybe this is what I bring on vacation instead. That would be small enough. Mm -hmm. And a little bit easier. Knitting. I mean, really, I want this one. I'm not going to lie. Because it would give you plenty to do and not take up a lot of space. Mm -hmm. I like this, these three. Yeah, the darkest end? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. That I needs like to be, ends. like, your your front front. Yeah. So we'll see. You guys will see what I end up doing. I also think this is new. This is seven to take spots. That would be pretty. Or you could even do it... Um, Some beaded silken sequins for that one. I'm just saying. Wouldn't that be pretty? Right. That is the Merino Cloud 7 Natique Spots and Merino Cloud 348. So regular and exclusive. All right. I could just keep dreaming. I'm like, okay, shiny squirrel, come back now. You're gonna oh, you're gonna need my sparkly squirrel magnel magnet here in a minute. <laughs> I love with knitting and creating and 
It's always exciting. Hi, Bryn. Um, it's exciting to find something that you're in love with. And then I finished with some help from my friends. They, you guys Isn't there know, a song? I'm, I'm super open about that I am a 90% finisher and then I'm kind of over it. And that's when my team steps in. Because we can't handle it that she has a 90% done or Aaron's sweater. So we're like, no, no, no. Hand, we'll hand it over. I mean, I did most of this one. The only thing I did, what did I not do? Half of the seaming, because you and Susan were doing it together oh, at true. the same time. And the armholes. All right, there we go. That's Good. really not that much. It was more like 95% done when you handed it off. Because blocking doesn't count as part of the doneness. Right. I was going to bring, because you guys know, it's you guys know I'm going on a trip. So I'm like, I need to pick a knitting project that's small, space-wise, but a lot of knitting. And I was going to do, I'm test knitting for Hinterstein, a really fun I'm so jacket. so excited. But it's worsted weight. It's a lot of... Um, it's bulky to it is. carry. Yeah. So I'm, maybe I will switch to something else. I know Iris has a new one, so maybe... Iris, if you're still on, send me that new pattern and I'll test knit that one. So then I won't have two of the exact same, but similar styles. All right, we have a really fun grand prize today. This is for all purchases between the 16th and the 30th of September. It's beautiful. One full skein of Sweeto. You guys know that is by Noro. It is 100% wool, 320 meters. So it's like 350 yards per uh, ball. Okay, there we are. I'm like trying to figure out what you're looking I mean, for I to help read you. It, but I'm like, I'm tired of straining. And then we have five mini skeins of Sweeto in a different color, but it makes the other one pop. We are doing the pattern for the boys or not. We have adjusted the pattern. We wrote notes on it somewhere. Next page. On how to change the measurements by the yarn. It is a really fun fast. So you've got solid color combination solid. It is really pretty. You can whip this sucker out. It's therapy knitting. A size 13 needle. And we're even giving away one of our custom bags. Um, with this prize, it is this beautiful white burlap that can be washed with California. Here's where Natikas. And then we, I forget who actually gave us the... Was that? I don't remember who specifically quote it was. I just remember us basically doing like a post on the collective of if you were describing Natique to a friend, how would you describe us? Yes. And that was somebody's Which is really nice because we don't want it to be silly, but it's nice to have what you guys think. Helps us a lot. So it says where everyone feels equally special and important. Hi, Jillian. Thank you, Helen. So nice. So that's going to be um, everything. It's valued more than $80 for the grand prize. You're going to get all of it. Anna, how do they enter in the drawing for this? So every oh, time, she oh, she had everything in the bag and then hooked on the shelf. Okay. So every time you make a purchase from the 16th through 30th of September, you get one entry. It can be yarn, gifts, classes, Knitting machines, doesn't matter. If you check out, it's an entry. It includes purchases made online at natikyarns.com, over the phone with us, and here live in person in the boutique, Tuesday through Saturday from 11 to 5. If you purchase 10 times, you get 10 entries. If you purchase one time, you get one entry. And then we will draw to see who the lucky winner is on the first, unless it is a day that we are not here, because I have not checked the calendar. I'm not sure what day the first is. I will be gone. I know we will be doing it without Boss Lady. That much yeah, I know. I'll try and do some of the stuff. I think um, the first is a Saturday. Okay, so we'll do it on Saturday the first. I may be able to join one or two. Oh, depending on where to, you are. And time. Yeah, it's definitely time is an issue. Okay, I'm really excited about this one. This is a prize 
from my stash. This is Twists and Turns, one of our, I just think, simple, elegant, beautiful scarves. You could provisional cast on the beginning and then three needle bind off, turn it into a cowl very easy. And this beauty is from my stash, Hedgehog Fibers. Is this a potluck? I think it is. No, this is Crybaby. Okay. So this is a skein of Crybaby that I never use because you guys know I'm slowly uh, building my art studio and I was like, I can release a couple of things. So here we are, Crybaby, you guys know Hedgehog Fibers. It's a company that we're bringing back in in the winter, probably early 2023. We'll start bringing in some lines again. I love their yarn. Mm -hmm. I love this. This is a sock yarn, so there is some nylon in it, a 90% superwash, 10% nylon. Um, it is machine washable, but it may bleed for the first couple of washes, and it is all made in Ireland. And I think their coloring is unlike anybody else's. Their speckles are very, like, precise. Yes. That's what... Every company has got their own shtick, but their speckles, they're tiny. So it's like, what are they just doing? Little finger? Because it's, it's definitely the, the dry. Yeah, because you see people do it with like a, like a Parmesan shaker yeah. or salt and pepper shakers and stuff. But they must be, yeah, like maybe pinching and sprinkling because the colors don't seem to ever like overlap mm -hmm. either. Very, very controlled. Very pretty. So this is a full skein, 440 yards, easily enough to do the small, which is a generous five and a half inches wide and 66 inches long. And we already wound it for you. It's ready to knit. Just add say, needles. When you're knitting with this, you don't want to use the super sharp points. Um, because of the way the plies are. It's kind of a looser ply, so you could have some splitting, but just um, use maybe like the Chow Goo Bamboo would be a good one. The, or the spins. Or the Lantern Moons. Ooh, the Lantern Moons would be probably the best. Because I'll show them a tip, because there's um, some right here on our little Try Me station. You can see they're just a little bit rounded, which makes it better for yarns that might be a little more willing to split. I love this. Everyone's like funfetti, confetti sprinkles. And yes, Jillian, hedgehog fibers are wonderful. We had them for probably a couple years. Then COVID hit and it was hard to get it. So we scaled back down, but we're going to do it again. We've got some holes in our inventory, which is always exciting for us. All right. So one lucky winner is going to win this and how you get entered into the drawing. It is all on your participation in our live videos. So if you react to the video right over here, it could be anything you want. You can even give me some like you're angry that it's not raining more here in California. Though we have had rain the last three days, which is really nice. We even had a double rainbow here in Elk Grove yesterday. Like oh. the full... Two half doubles. I didn't get to see the double, but I did get to oh, see beautiful. and took a picture of a full one. Yeah. The real, like, low, wide arc one. Mm, beautiful. I, I never get to see that. the full thing. So I was like, I got a picture. I was getting Everly's medicine, and it's super open fields, and you could see it ah. in the background. I didn't pull over to take yeah. a picture, but it was beautiful. I didn't either. I know. I was, at a, I was at a stoplight. It, you can never <laughs> capture it, even with a fantastic phone camera. But I was like, oh, my gosh, a double rainbow. I love it. So one entry for a re every reaction over here. Every time you comment, that's the easiest way to get it. Five entries for every comment, which is fantastic. So we've got lots of comments at this point. 67 comments, three shares. You guys already know the people who are regulars here. What you have to do is come over here. You hit the forward right here. You can share it to your friends. You can share to your stories. And then you just have to pop right in, share to my friends, share to my stories, uh, sh shorties or whatever I just did. 
that is worth uh, stories. It's like uh, a tortoise shell calico, look, but stories. I can even edit it. Uh, I don't mind it saying stories. Um, hold on. There we go. That's 22 entries just for that. Good morning, Roxanne. I hope you're feeling better. So we're going to base this off of today's prize is off of Saturday's um, video, which was super fun. Okay, so one, let me just do something real quick. Okay. I just have to pull it up. It changed it a little bit. It refreshed itself. Which one is it? Um, it was Imperial. the... Um, no, it was... wasn't the one with the link. It's the, this yarn is so soft one. Okay. Yeah. It, it's one funny because second. we're so, I'm sure you guys have noticed, we're so active on Facebook and Instagram. It makes it a little hard for us to find what post to pull our comments from in the mornings because there's a lot of them. We have been getting a lot of positive feedback on Facebook. I was and on Instagram how much we've been posting. Yeah, I was interacting with a lady yesterday. She was new. She was watching one of our videos and she was like, I'm new to your site and I can't find the yarn for the sweater that you're wearing because you were wearing it that day too. Oh. And so I pop popped the links in with her and nice. so we just had a quick little chat yesterday morning. Oh. So even on our days off, if we see it, we'll respond to you guys. Yep. If it's urgent, send us an email because there are so many social media notifications that I know we don't see all of them. And one second. I'm sorry, you guys. It is not liking anything today. We're going to blame the oh, weather. I did it. It cooperated. Oh, here we go. Quick before it changes its right. mind. See who the lucky one Nancy Eberson, congratulations. You are the winner. Yay. Of this will be a fun price for you too. Not too hard, not too easy. How can Nancy pick up her prize? Well, so Nancy, since you're not local, it would be a little bit of a schlep to come visit us live and in person to pick up your prize here in the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 to 5. So I would imagine that the next time you place an order at natikyarns.com will be your solution. You just put in the notes that you have a prize and we send it all on out together in one happy pink package. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're like the Tiffany's of yarn because everybody knows pink package Oh, yeah, I love Equals it. yarn. I actually, my roommate got something in the mail in a pink package, and I was like, what? Why is she getting stuff? Oh, no, it's not ours. So I was feeling a little betrayed that there was a pink package in our house that wasn't Natik, because it was the exact same pink. I love it. They know our source. I'm like, shoot, you guys know about the shipping company, too. In our produce bags. Okay. They do make handy little um, prize baggies. This was from Rex and told us to get these. They're fantastic. I, really think I, I keep looking at this. It's so pretty. Maybe the back could be this. That would be fun. Because I'm not in love with this. Yeah. So and the do front the front could be this. That's what I did when I did mine is I did the side that I loved the most was what I started with. Yeah. I mean, this would be good. Cuz I knew I wouldn't use it all. I love our Paris springtime, springtime in Paris. Let me look. You guys I cuz this is started a project. Yes. Okay, hold on. We have impulse control issues when it comes to yarn. We we do not apologize. No. So this is the Springtime in Paris colorway, which is one of our Natik exclusives in the Merino Cloud Fade Kit. And then is that, yep, 264. 264 is charcoal gray. Which is the full skein of Merino Cloud. Or... Kathy, how did you catch those in the like half second that her shoes showed? She said, Danielle, your shoes are so cute. <laughs> Thank you. 246. 
So it's interesting because black. I see that green. Two ninety two. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's that green. There's our sage green in there. There's so many colors that go with this one. Mm -mm -mm. I think this one. Yeah, I think the slightly softer, more charcoal two sixty four over the more black two forty six. This is almost too much contrast. The front with yeah, like the richer colors. Mm -hmm. And then the back would be this. I mean, if you're making two fronts, then you could change your mind each day what you how you want to wear it too. Let's just look at this. Options. Right? <laughs> Sorry, Susan. Sorry, Susan. She's probably going, I don't have links prepared for this. So okay, what do you guys think? I'm gonna give you guys you guys can help me too. Okay, what so for that other one. This is, hold on, I'm trying to tell them what color it is. Oh, that's the wrong package. You took it. Um, I think this is 7528. Um, the beet pink's probably not enough contrast. No. What about the more magenta -y pink? Would that be too bright? I think so. Um, I think yeah, definitely the gray in your hand is I a good contrast. one. Even though this is more taupey, but I don't mind that. That's okay, because that's what keeps this from getting mm -hmm. lost in here. What do you guys think? Option one? Wait, is this option one? Because I was focused on this okay, one. Okay, this is option one. Okay, 7528 and the pewter, which is 247, is option one. Springtime in Paris and 264. Here, I'm going to do this so that it's laid out the same is option two. Oh, UPS, which we do have one to trade him. Patty, green's not one of the choices. For yeah, that, show? yeah. Okay. We've got just one small one for you. So it's funny, this is backwards, but one, two. Okay. Patty Palmer said green. I'm like, green's not one of the options, Patty. Try again. <laughs> I love that. She said it should be. <laughs> I did green one. She just did way. green. It's funny. That looks yeah. just like the box that needs to go to FedEx. I really do believe <laughs> there needs to be, maybe, I could start out with this. Mm -hmm. Because then I'd get the brighter colors. Like, I want to kick that one loose. That would probably end up leaving that one out, which mm -hmm. is perfect. All right, we got a lot of ones. I know, it's so beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We got six option ones and zero twos. So sorry, springtime in Paris. You've been you demoted. <laughs> Seven, five, two, eight it is. I'm messaging Iris. Send me the pattern. Send me the pattern. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now they're definitely drooling over the beaded silken sequence. Oh, yeah. One will make you happier. Yes, the beads. See? It's really pretty. Look at even there's a little bit of, like, this purple in that one. Okay. Let me just kick this one to the side. You're off the list. Which its packaging is hiding here and this one's here yeah oh yeah i mixed them up so trade me thank you all right so fun might as well just leave that there thank you guys for helping <laughs> me because i do this is so pretty especially with this susan i know we're seriously squirreling around bring out your top so we can show people the beaded silken sequins at the front <laughs> It's definitely Tuesday. Right? Okay. So Iris is like, oh, yes. Number one it is. All right. So Susan will be out in a second to show her, um, show us hers. Show us your stitches. Show us your stitches. In progress. Oh. Yes, Stacey. Kind of a one mess will make me happier. 
This is nothing new with us. Messy yarn, what? Cold. <laughs> it's on a short needle because I like short needles. Okay, do you guys see? So she cast on with Merino Cloud, switched to beaded silk and sequins. She has a, I mean, quite a bit left. Are yeah. you going to save that for the back? Yeah. Are you going to stop soon? Um, yes. I have to finish a little bit more of this. I got like one more blue section of this and then I'll And then you'll be done? Yeah. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Just a little bit of necklace. This is Canal Dreams for those who just went, oh my God, yes. Right. This is another exclusive for, for Natique. So here's the merino cloud that she will be switching to. That's what this little bit of light blue is at the beginning. And Susan is not a sweater knitter. She, she is now. She got sucked into this <laughs> one. I did. <laughs> so there we go. That's just another option that you can do. You can divide your beaded silk and sequins in half and do half on the front, half on the back. We kind of steered her to get past here. Yeah, basically finish the diamond here. pattern. Yep. Yeah. And then she'll switch to the merino cloud so it's not too heavy. Um, she also could, every once in a while, put in some beaded silk and sequins on the body. She could even divide what's left and put a little bit on um, each sleeve edge. Oh my gosh, Iris. Yeah. Iris is like, someone started it with beaded silk and sequins. You're like, yeah, that's us. Yeah. <laughs> is that our, did she take a screenshot from our video? I love her. Iris. That's Susan. No. Mm -mm. Oh, it's not Susan's? No. You're like, yeah, yeah, so did we. I love that. Here's, she. yeah, she's doing the same thing with her second one. Oh, okay. It is very addictive knitting. That's the thing. And this isn't even what we were going to talk about. Let me just say. Serious squirrels. I was going to say, show them the small because there were some oh. confusing comments coming up. Okay, so here is what you originally needed. Two skeins of each. Two um, solid merino cloud. And then we're choosing to do seven series. Two of those. Oh, we have Hi, a box for him you. too. Your oh, we thing. have a box for you too. We have boxes for everybody today. So is Thank your you. tag in here, Susan? Day. No, it's not. I was going to tell them what color number your blue is, but the tag is gone. Um, that is booby oh, trap, booby trap, uh, two, three, seven, six, two, three, seven, six. That's the blue. And then under Natique exclusives, Merino cloud, seven canal dreams. All right. So there we go. And beaded silk and sequins canal dreams. I'm so in love with my new cup, my new sweater. Okay, focus. <laughs> you gotta right. finish the video before you can go cast I on, friend. I gotta, that <laughs> will be my other one. But the nice thing is, I've already swatched. Yeah, a whole sweater's worth. That's the biggest swatch I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, so that is just a little diversion. Okay, Patty Palmer, I want to see Canal Dreams. If I hadn't already done green... In this sweater, I would for sure do Canal Dreams with the green. That's what really makes it pop. So I'm excited. Everyone is loving the knit along. If you have not started and you want to join us, you can. We have the first session is already on demand. We have a session Wednesday. And then we will have a session when I come back into town. So it gives you some time. I'm really excited about this next yarn. We had... Um, a similar yarn last year and it sold out because it's crazy easy to knit with. Stockinette is a dream. This is holiday gift giving yarn because you only have to do stockinette and it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna show you a skein of it. We've had to reorder because it sold so well the first time we brought it in. This is a brand new fall 2022 yarn it is by lang called bergen it is 73 percent alpaca and 
12% polyamide. So the polyamide is the tube because it is chain at construction and then they blow the fibers in. You can see how deliciously soft this is. Because the way they blow in the fibers, it creates a pattern. So you can see right here, you've got like that rusty brown and then you have almost, think of it like an I-cord, essentially what this is. Then you have three or four stitches of I-cord, which gives you more of a fair aisle look to it. So we are offering a free uh, cowl pattern with one skein of the yarn. Anna will put that on her list to write the pattern today. It's okay. Well, it'll still, we can whip <laughs> it up. But it's still a free pattern with this. Here's what it looks like knit up. Isn't this stunning? So very simple um, what we've done. It basically is Knitting it in the round, we have a purl row, then we have knit one, purl one, purl, lots of stockinette, purl a row, knit one, purl one, purl a row, bind off. But this beautiful skein of color four, one, one ball does it, you get this beautiful, super soft, drapey gorgeousness. Karen, you're gonna have to post the pattern on the collective. She said she just finished a hat out of the pink and brown. Have picture please. So crazy soft, not itchy because it's mostly um, alpaca, which you guys know in the fiber world is like poodles for the dog world. People who are sensitive, it's a hypoallergenic fur. They say it's hair, but it's still dog fur. But it's gorgeous knit up, big needles, easiness. Yeah, I'm not sure I understand the classification between hair, fur, and wool, but right, they're, they're three separate things, technically. All right, I'm going to let you choose the next color you want to do. Um, then we have this really fun and bright color. This is color two. It is electric highlighter lime green and navy blue. So you're gonna get like how you see here with the rust and the teal, you're gonna get like a blue section with little green specks in it, then a green section with little blue specks in it to create that like self-patterning ferrile sequence. And this cowl that we're showing is the necklace length, uh, which is our 30 inch circumference and only took one skein. So you only need one for a 30 inch by, I'd say that's about six inches. Cowl. We are popular this yeah. morning. The phone, the delivery people. 999, that sounds like a... Oh. S a spam call? Yeah. Helen, yes. We do not mind if other shops are mentioned. Here's the thing. There is enough business for everyone and you need to come from a place of plenty instead of scarcity and that is my way of if i could help another store i am you wouldn't believe all the consulting i do at no charge for people that are starting because i want them to be successful what goes around comes around well if you think about it there's like three million knitters on ravelry that's right. a lot of people who need yarn mm -hmm. all right then next color we have is color number six. This is the one that Karen's going to post a picture in the collective um, that she just finished a hat in similar style. So it's this kind of olive green taupe and this blush blossom pink. So you're going to get stripes of green with pink specks and stripes of pink with green speckles. I have some very fun hats that will work with this also. If anyone purchasing today, you can tell us which of our hat patterns you want and I will include it in the purchase. So we have Bub, which is one of my favorites. If you guys have been around a while, that is what I call my children. I call them Bub or Bubby. Um, they all answer to it. If I say it in a crowd, they all look at me because they know that that's me talking to them. So um, this is a really fun, I really like this one. It's like a waffle. 
So you have some rows that are all knit and then you have two rows that are knit to purl to. You can do, we did do a fold brim. Let's see, right here you can see it. I like to put in this fun row, which makes it fold more easy. You can do it a little bit deeper if you want it. So that's one of the patterns you can get at no charge. In the notes, you have to write the pattern that you want and your Ravelry name so we can drop it into your library. This is one of my fun, favorites. This is Farmstead Falls. It is a place in um, the upper UP of Michigan, which is where my dad's from. Look, it's still rocking the red lipstick. Oh, my hair was long. That was shop two. Mm -hmm. And that is knit on an 11 or 13 needle. We actually have it in two different sizes, extra small, small, medium, large. One skein is enough to do both sizes yeah, not two hats just mm -hmm. either size and one of the thing that's important to me you can't really see it on this one is our patterning goes all the way to the top it doesn't like we start patterning and then it goes to just knit 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 the pattern is carrying up and you'll see it kind of gets smaller 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 and more narrow at the top so that is farmstead fowls you can pick either of those at no charge uh, valued, I think $4.99 for our hats. Those are available on Ravelry if you already have yarn to use, but otherwise pick out a skein of Bergen today and we will include uh, one of the hat patterns. Some other patterns that Susan found that would be gorgeous. Here we go, this is the two by two loop. You would wanna buy two skeins of this, but what a great one for traveling easy. That's good therapy knitting too. Yep. And one that once you get started, you don't even need a pattern. Mm -hmm. We have the beginner infinity scarf. Again, um, I would say two is going to be good on that one. There is 132 yards. Just nice, easy. My favorite, you guys know, I love bandana cowls because I like less uh, thickness in the back. Really cute on. Especially when you're somewhere a little bit colder. And I love this one. This is Tillerman. It's gonna use between eight and nine skeins. Here is this fun little poncho. Nothing crazy about this one. Stockinette, eyelets, garter stitch, easy peasy. This is one of my favorite cowls that we've done. This is Glissé. And you're going to need between two and four, depending on which one that you're doing. But very, very pretty knit up. That one's a really fun kind of subtle reversible slip stitch pattern that one side looks garter stitch and the other side... You can see it on the right is a little bit more woven looking because of the slip stitches. All right, we're gonna keep on going, keep on tricking. Then we have color number seven. This one is like a ultraviolet blue. So it has just that little bit of purple tint to it. And then like, Man, that went by fast. It, it's, it was all that sweater squirreling. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tony, for sharing. And thank you, Kathy. You guys have seen me over the years. I have short hair. I have long hair. I have in-between hair. Okay, I okay, love this Occasionally one. you had wig hair. I did. I used to wear wigs with my sister. Those were fun. I liked mm -hmm. the pink one. Yeah, pink and gray ombre. Then we have color one, which is more of like a yellow green chartreuse bright color with that gorgeous cobalt blue. I feel like the next two colors, if you have anyone that you love that is running, walking outside, a hunter, anywhere that they need some uh, don't shoot me orange works for Caltrans yeah, that kind of thing like that the next two colors are perfect and frankly so crazy popular that 
two of my sons asked me to knit them a hat out of this because this is hot right now. I want to do something like a cowl where you do one till it runs out and then do the other one because mm -hmm. I think they would look cool together. This is what I call Don't Shoot Me Orange. Color number five. Thanks, Helen, for sharing. So it is bright highlighter orange and lemon yellow. Like you can really see it's a yellow yellow. Not like how the other one was like a green yellow. This is a true yellow, you guys. It's so pretty. So pretty. And I love this one. Even golfing, right? Anywhere you that your ears get cold. That might help make sure you don't get a stray ball in accidentally at you, you know, because they can see you. Like, don't aim for the neon orange right. head over there. This is color number eight. It is that lemon yellow and lime green. So you're getting a little more subtle in the contrast of the Fair Isle, but nice and vibrant so that it really pops. Who's this? Is this? Carolyn's. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I blocked it and buttoned it. Yeah. Even though it's for your girlfriend. It's beautiful. So here's what we're showcasing today. One skein wonders. This is Lang Yarns Bergen. 93% alpaca. 7% polyamide. Crazy. Amazingly soft. All right. We're going to talk about. I want to show Carolyn's project. Well, we'll do one for her later. Yeah. Um, we'll talk about what we're wearing. You guys know. I already showcased mine. My slipped September. Did not even have to do vents on it. The way we change the bottom, uh, it depends. Maybe some people like it more fitted around the bottom and the extra blouse. I did not do as much uh, positive ease. I have about uh, zero inches here and then about four inches here. So it was very easy, and a bucket, easy to stretch. Yeah, it's, Merino Cloud is very willing. So it blocks out, like, I blocked it with an A-line, even though it's not technically knitted with an A-line. And it worked just fine. I'm so excited. All right, I'm going to show you guys what Anna's wearing. Susan's going to be out in just a second. I am wearing my semi-recently finished Canyon Road. It feels like I just finished it because I haven't really gotten to wear it. Fingering weight yarn, three colors. You have fun different stitch patterns in the top. There's some color work. There's some horseshoe lace, some feather and fan, some color work, and then stockinette, which means you can combination knit it if you have the tools to do so. Mm -hmm. This is a Casapinka sweater. That's a problem. What can I mm -hmm. say? So, isn't that gorgeous, though, everyone? Hey, look. Speaking of the not knitting sweaters, lady, it's almost cold enough. No, seriously. That, that is two sweaters we have got you two. to knit. And I, two in a year. And she's got another one in progress. Oh, that's... Um, two in a few months, really. You know, knit one, knit one, knit one, knit one. Yeah, that one might get abandoned. <gasps> I think hey, we're so you know far on doing? it. I'm just doing like a couple rows, one row a day. Yeah, I thought about it. Because that's night. easy. I thought about it, but I'm engaged yeah. in some other projects. So, uh, sail away out of lamb and goat. One of our absolute favorite yarns. We just ordered more again. We cannot keep it in stock. Crazy mm -hmm. soft. Crazy soft. No, I you're good. <laughs> There's, I can't say enough stuff about that I yarn. I know, this one is awesome. I just pet this all day. I will show you guys. I did swatch. Did you touch it? Touch that. Even God. though it's still damp, it feels amazing. That wow. Is the right? That is awesome. Too. Karen moved it. Karen. <laughs> where, where did she put it? I don't know. I'm Saxony. Saxony. It is a cashmere wool tweed by Juniper Moon Farms. It is an Aaron weight. Here, look, I'm right coming to you. Here. It blooms amazing. You're not going to see any more black because I bought it all. But this is the test knit that I'm doing for Hinterstein's jacket, which if you guys are looking for an over 
coat. Oh my God, it's gonna be fantastic. Fitted through the boobs about 10 inches of ease because you have a pleat at the bottom. So it is designed to wear things underneath. Gorgeous lines, pockets, lots of stockinette and such a fun. It is top down, but it is a totally different construction. So I love her construction. You put it on a holder, then you pick up and knit a shoulder, a shoulder. It's fantastic. So I think um, by the end of October, that pattern will actually be released. But that's it, my lovelies. I will see everyone soon. Thank you for joining us for our um, heartfelt, exactly, I just roll with it. I have no script. This is how I do this is why I think authentic, that's the word. This is super authentic. So we'll see everyone soon. Have an amazing day. Remember, take time for yourself today and we will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. But I will be back at three o'clock today for a knit, sip, and hook with a boss lady. So I'll be doing it from the office. I can't wait to see you then. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.